The future of the COVID-19 relief bill uncertain tonight, as we said, with the president asking Congress to make changes before he signs it. One group watching all of this very closely, the Wisconsin hotel industry. Occupancy statewide at 37 percent, down from 58 percent last year. As Jenna Sachs reports, many hotels say they'll close without federal help. 684, 686. A skeleton crew and occupancy as low as 10 percent. That's the pandemic reality at the brand new True by Hilton and Home Two Suites in downtown Milwaukee. Between the you know 31 hotels that are downtown, we're, we're fighting for scraps. Kevin Dombrow is the area director of sales for Hawkeye Hotels, which opened five of its six Wisconsin hotels in 2020. Plans set in motion in better times. 2019, we were shattering records. Occupancy in downtown Milwaukee is down 66 percent compared to 2019. Average daily rates down $45. We can only go so long. To put it in a nutshell, our industry has been devastated by the pandemic. Bill Elliott of the Wisconsin Hotel and Lodging Association says 53,000 hotel supported jobs were in jeopardy without more federal relief. We're very um, concerned about our industry and concerned about keeping our, our people employed and our, and our businesses open. Just how much have Wisconsin hotels been struggling during the pandemic? A November survey found 47% said they'd close within six months if more federal funding isn't made available. We've got a long road ahead of us to, to dig out of the, the mess that the pandemic has caused. So far, Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP loans, and $20 million in CARES Act grants have kept the lights on. The new relief bill provides a second round of PPP loans, but Elliott hopes more can be done. There are a lot of different types of tax relief that would really help us. But any relief for the hotels along Lake Michigan is a life preserver until travel for leisure and corporate business comes in. They're telling us that corporate travel is probably not going to resume until July or August. When asked about public health concerns, Dombrow says his hotels are thoroughly cleaned, rooms sealed after housekeeping leaves, and common areas frequently wiped down. Somebody's going to be touching things up every 15 minutes, you know, especially elevators, elevator buttons common surfaces, tables. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. The relief bill passed by Congress, though not yet signed, increases the size of the PPP loans to 3.5 times payroll and makes forgiven PPP loans tax deductible. The Wisconsin Hotel and Lodging Association calls that a critical step that's long overdue, but says it will keep working toward long-term relief as well.